Hey guys and gals, um, so this is for the few of you guys that have been asking uh, about my banner stones and the tools I use and how I do it and stuff. I do, every once in a while, do one traditionally. It's usually something really simple, maybe like a slate celled or something like that, but I've never really sat down and spent the time to to do one uh, like they did in the past. I always use <clears throat> have used modern tools, and uh, it's still quite the job, don't get me wrong, but uh, obviously much easier than, you know, what they did in the past. So, you know, what I'm doing with the grinder they did with, with uh, by pecking and stuff with a hard stone. Um, but anyhow, I'll, I'll kind of show you my, my gig here. First of all, I got fans set up. I got one blowing here uh, behind me, and it, it kind of pushes it pushes it out the window. And then this thing here, I can. It's a pretty good fan. I can crank it up, and it just sucks everything straight out out the window. Um. So I've got my Dremel hanging there. It's got a little foot control. It's a pretty nice one. I got a Harbor Freight. Pretty reasonable. But it's got the, the chuck you can open up. It doesn't open up quite large enough. Uh, if you guys see these things on Facebook, don't buy them if, unless you got a quarter inch a chuck that'll take a quarter inch shank. I just bought a bunch of those. But uh, anyhow... You know, I use any of the any of the tools that you would think, any of the diamond tools. Um, you know, these these little tile hole saws work real well. Um, these other bits here work work pretty well. Also, these kind of auger bits. You can find these in the tile section or the masonry drill bits um, you know I use these little tapered uh, bits for uh, with my Dremel a lot these little different size bits I use quite a bit a bit bit a bit bit so um, you know all the roughing out I do with a four inch grinder the segmented wheel. If you're not familiar with these tools and you're not 100% confident with them, because they can torque and pull in weird ways, and they'll they'll bite you big time. And, and uh, these segmented wheels are really dangerous. So if you if you use this, be very very careful. And if and just don't even use it if you're not if you don't have hundreds of hours working with one of these machines. Don't take the guard off of it and do what I'm doing. Um, super dangerous these are a little better they're non non-segmented thinner wheel it's more of a cutting wheel and it'll get you too if it if it snags a hold of you it's gonna get you but uh so be very careful with that i'm not recommending that anybody actually do that at least put the guard on it uh, anyways so i rough it out with the with an angle grinder and get it somewhat close um you know, like this is a blank I did of uh, that pool, pool table slate. I got a couple holes drilled, and but uh, most of the stuff I just find in the rivers and the fields where I arrowhead hunt. Um, a lot of it has been selected, um, not by me, but by whoever was staying there in the, on that site where I'm finding the arrowheads and stuff. I find a lot of this pretty this pretty banded slate that they've collected and, and either put in caches and then it got plowed up or discarded, didn't make the cut or whatever. But there's uh, lots of slate in those fields I hunt, so and I can find it in the rivers and stuff also. But uh, you can tell most of the stuff's got plow marks all over it. Um. But I use uh, I use a rasp a lot, um, you know files. This is a this thing don't work real well. I wouldn't recommend that. But uh, like that round rasp back here, this 
You guys see that? Yeah. I use that a lot. I got it propping my window open right now. But, uh, you know, this, this Dremel's it's pretty nice. It, it comes in real handy for the smaller work. But, uh, you know, this slate is not a tough stone. It, it carves pretty easy. I mean, you can do an awful lot with just a, a rasp. So, and then these stone bits work really well also. Just in a drill, if you can secure your workpiece and then use your drill to, it'll really remove some material pretty quickly. Um, what else? A piece of Minnesota pipe stone. Getting ready to try to do a platform pipe out of that one. I want to do a tree frog effigy pipe. But, uh, yeah, you can see some of the stuff's really close to the shape that, that uh, you know, it's they didn't have to do a lot of work, remove a lot of excess material. That's the ones they liked. But, like, this, uh, here's one they would start it on and started opening up on both sides. They picked the hole all the way through this thing. It's, it's pretty impressive. I thought it might have just been like a slate hoe or something when I first found it, but you can see where they were working on the, this other hole over here. They actually had it opened up quite a bit larger than the other one, I think. Judging from where that's at, and it obviously broke on them. During manufacture, makes you wonder how they can hold that holes together when they peck all the way through there. They picked the heck out of this one. Um, but I think that one, this one would have ended up somewhere kind of similar sort of to this, this thing. I'm sure you guys have seen this. I've been plastering pictures of it all over. So, but, um... What else can I talk about? I do use uh, the drum sanders quite a bit on my drill press. Um, yeah. I think that's about it. Found a bag of goodies at my parents' house here. I, <laughs> I didn't even know I, I still had. A bunch of blunts, bird points, it's a pretty cool looking, must have found that one in the river or something. It's got a little water, water wear on it. Some pretty cool little bird points. A little LaCroix, got the wings knocked off of him. Big Sandy. So, anybody uh, interested in buying some authentic pieces, let me know. I'll probably end up selling these, most likely. I've got a Clovis over here I'm getting ready to, to list also, if anybody wants to jump on it. It's that one that's got the flute on one side. It's ground real nice on both sides impact fracture tip ding so probably ask 150 bucks for it not sure how long it is uh, let me grab a tape measure It's like uh, two, almost two and five eighths, about two, two and a half inches. Yeah, two and a half. So, uh, yes, yeah, pretty cool piece. No doubt about it. 
the real McCoy. I found it myself. Just got permission to go back in that field a couple days ago for the first time in 20 years. All right, guys, I will stop bullcrapping your leg off. Thanks for watching. And uh, I hope that answers some questions that you might have had about the, uh, the slate and the carving and stuff. Catch you all in the next one. Peace.